This Saturday marks two years since this deadly explosion at a paint plant on the city's northeast side. Now there's a dispute over how much money will be made available to those who were impacted in the area. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 811. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. Tonight, the community held a second meeting to discuss what needs to be done. 10 TV's Richard Solomon was at that meeting tonight and joined us now live in studio. Richard, what happened? Well, Yolanda, Andrew, two things came out of tonight's meeting, a proposal from Yankee Majestic and also a deadline on when to file a lawsuit if you already haven't. But residents that I spoke with tell me they just want this to be over. Almost two years ago, smoke and flames filled the sky. Now that the dust has settled, the damage is still very much there. We're just out on a boat without a paddle. And we're just at a crunch of a deadline where things should have happened much sooner than what is happening now. On April 8th, 2021, the deadly Yankin Majestic paint plant explosion rocked thousands of homes in the area. And now residents only have one day left to file a lawsuit against the company for damages if they already haven't done so. And they still haven't been compensated. Diana Debro's house hasn't felt like a home in a long time. It has uh, cracks in the foundation in my basement, cracks in my garage. I have cracks on my uh, patio. That's what brought she and other residents here, a meeting to hear a compensation proposal from the company to the community. We have 9,500 rooftops in our community that definitely would not address those, those concerns. Tiffany White, who's a resident and activist, says the proposal by Yankee Majestic is only for $150,000, but the North Central Area community issued a counter proposal for $25 million. She says before any amount is set, they're wanting a structural engineer to assess the homes. We also want to make sure that people are compensated adequately for their damages. For residents like Debro, this isn't something they'll easily forget. I will not be at peace with this even once it's over with because I can't move anywhere else. I don't want to move anywhere else. And earlier I did reach out to Yankee Majestic and go there myself in regards to this proposal and was told Advisors would reach out to me if they decide to, and so far, they have not.